In a recent issue of Woodsmith Magazine, we featured a day bed that was in the style of Thomas Day. One of the features on this bed was these turned stretchers that are on the ends of it. And the turned stretchers, sometimes they're referred to as scrolls, have a small bead detail at the very end, uh, kind of where those stretchers terminate in the legs. Now you could turn those beads using a spindle gouge and just rolling a couple beads over uh, on each end. However, those beads are pretty small and they require a really, really delicate uh, spindle gouge to turn them. So instead what I like to do is I like to modify a old spindle gouge into a beading tool. Let me show you how I do that. So here is a spindle gouge that I just picked up uh, at a flea market for a couple bucks. Uh, it's a probably a lower quality steel, but for what I am doing, it works just fine. So I've removed the handle and I am going to take this to the grinder. What we're going to do is we are going to grind a flat on the back of it. Now I've set the grinder table up at about 45 degrees and I'm just going to touch this guy on there and run it until I have basically this entire bevel gone and I just have a straight flat bevel with two protruding points. Okay, so what I've done is I've made that flat on the back uh, and I also usually will come in and grind the sides a little bit. And that's just to bring the entire profile in and that allows me to get a series of beads closer to one another uh, rather than leaving them kind of flared out. So now, like this, this is basically gonna cut like a scraper. So I've adjusted my tool rest, so it is cutting right at the center line. And with this beading tool, or with a beading tool like this, we don't want to point it uphill at all. Uh, because we have that bevel on there, it's actually gonna act like a negative rake scraper. So we're gonna feed it in perfectly perpendicular to the work piece, and I'm gonna cut it in and I'm gonna watch that bead develop. And as that bead develops, you're gonna see a flat on top. We're gonna feed this in until that flat disappears. And sometimes it even works really nicely to rock the tool back and forth just gently. And that kind of tucks the bead in nice and tight. There we go. So I can just keep going because making beads like this is super fun. Uh, and as you can see, it cuts really cleanly. It will dull, uh, so you just have to touch it back up on the wheel like we did when I made that first bevel. And by rocking it, you create a really nice smooth bead. And what I like about using a tool like this, uh, and even without a handle, it's very easy to control and it's very easy to get consistently sized beads, which can be a struggle if you're first learning how to turn and learning how to roll beads. So it's a great tool to add to your shop. So next time you see a cheap spindle gouge, grab it, turn it into a beading tool.